really helped, and I was able to make some plays. With the way they moved you around the formation so much, whether it be inside, outside, flex, whatever, how much do you feel that prepared you to take this next step in the offense like this? Um, yeah, I think it um, helps a lot. Anytime, um, you know, if I just learned the tight end position in South Dakota State, it'd be hard to learn every position here. So I think playing different positions, moving around, uh, help my football IQ. And I feel like I have a really good football IQ, so I'm excited to get uh, in the playbook and learn this offense. Have you talked to Zach Ertz yet? And how do you see uh, you two fitting together? Yeah, um, I just got a text message from him after I got drafted. Uh, just kind of telling me that he's excited for me to come there. Congratulations. Um, but that's about all our communication so far. But I see us working really well together. Obviously, he's a great player. I've watched a lot of his film, learned a lot from him already. And being in the same room as him is uh, kind of a dream come true. I'm going to learn uh, a tremendous amount from him and uh, what he does on the field. And um, I think we'll complement each other really well. Does, does it kind of take the pressure off you coming to a situation where they have a guy like Zach Ertz and a veteran guy like Richard Rodgers for you to kind of like gradually, you know, learn the position, learn the NFL and everything? Yeah, I mean, uh, it kind of takes off the pressure, but at the same time, you know, I'm a competitor. I love to play the game, so I'm going to be out here uh, competing every day. And, uh, you know, I might not see the field um, right away as I would in some different situations because you guys do have the Zach Ertz and Richard Rodgers. Um, so it does take a little bit of pressure off, but I'm excited to be out there with them. How different uh, is this offense from the one you ran in South Dakota State? Um, it's a little bit. Obviously, um, the pro-style offense, um, they have a little bit more depth. Um, in-depth stuff. They do a few more different things, but uh, football is football. You know, you got 11 guys and you line up and uh, go from there. Um, they have more plays. They have a few different things, but I don't think I'll have a problem learning the offense. I'm excited. I uh, like how they use uh, the tight ends in the office, so uh, being in Philadelphia is a really good fit for me. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I did. And your thoughts when uh, you watch the Super Bowl, not knowing at the time that you'd be on this team? Yeah, you know, um, I was rooting for him the whole time, uh, watching Carson Wentz. He wasn't on the team. Uh, there's a couple other local guys, Nate Gary, um, just watching them. And, you know, Philadelphia, kind of the underdog mentality. I uh, love that. And, you know, they went out there and uh, put out an excellent performance. The Philly special, some of the play calls they did was uh, just amazing. And uh, they played a great game and obviously brought the Lombardi Trophy back. Uh, I think I got a pretty good arm. I think I got a pretty good arm. You mentioned the Philly special. It looks like that jersey has number 88 in the last time. That jersey was born. Trey Burton was throwing that pass. Is it kind of cool to take over that legacy? Maybe? Yeah, it is. Obviously, he was a he was a great tight end, and um, obviously, I'm not trying to fill his shoes. I'm I'm going to be on my own player here and everything. But you know, if uh, he can throw it, maybe uh, this is the 88 number, and we can uh, keep running it with me. Which, uh, which, which Dakota is better, North or South? Uh, South Dakota for sure. Um, I mean, hey Dallas, have you gotten kind of a feel for the? Yeah, um, a pretty good feel. You know, my Twitter's been blowing up, and I think there's a few GoFundMe's uh, to change my name from Dallas to Philly. <laughs> so um, people are uh, going to have a little bit of trouble with that, but hopefully uh, we make enough plays that they'll get over it. Um, I think I was pretty good. Um, just comparing numbers, I think out of all tight ends in this draft class, I had the highest uh, yards after catch. Um, I think I compare to Travis Kelsey a lot in that way with his uh, what he does with the ball in his hands. So I think I'll uh, be able to make people miss and gain a lot of yards after the catch. Dallas, I know it's recent, but have you had the chance to sit back and think about what it's going to be like entering the stadium with 75,000 people cheering for you? Oh, man, no. I honestly haven't thought about that at all. Um, ever since I got picked, it's kind of been a whirlwind. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot uh, that I have to put in before that comes. Uh, a lot of hard work that's going to go in before that, but um, you know, I can't wait until that day. Uh, running out there is going to be incredible. What has Doug Peterson said to you? Obviously, you meet him before you come down to see us. What yeah. Has he, what has he shared with you? Um, he hasn't shared too much. Uh, he's excited that I'm here. Um, he's really glad that uh, they were able to get me at pick 49. Um, you know, it's just kind of been me and talking a little bit. Um, but I think he's a great guy, and I'm excited to play for him. Didn't talk any football at all? Nope, haven't talked any football yet. What's the plan these next two weeks?